we were doing a stream the other day, and we ended up playing this song by this dude, Rich Rabbit, who's a, a black southerner, and he was just fully taking aim at you. Like, it wasn't just like a little diss. It was like, oh, no, he like really hates yeah. Rico Too Smooth. And I wasn't really sure if that was something where you guys had, had run-ins or anything, or is this all no, internet this stuff? this is, bro. Obviously, like, come on, uh, someone with that much time, you feel me? Like, <laughs> it's crazy because uh, his other homie the, uh, from the same hood and shit, like, he he had followed me and shit. I followed back, peeping him out. I was like, I didn't even know he was a... Uh, a southerner at first, so I seen all the pictures. I'm like, damn, this nigga with hella Mexicans and shit. They, I was like, oh shit, okay. Kept the push. I seen. I was basically. I felt like, okay, if my opposition is following, maybe they might be a real fan or like a supporter. They fuck with it, or they just trying to watch me. And I'm just like, all right, well, I'm, I'm gonna see. watch you yeah, back. I'll watch you back. I'm, <laughs> but it, it ain't got, and it ain't got to be some to where like. I'm on their shit lurking or doing no weird shit. Just like, I see them doing music and shit. So I'm like, okay, they're popping on their little shit. They got their shit going on. But uh, to backtrack, like, yeah, his his homie, like, you feel me? Like, was trying to be smooth and shit. So this nigga came out of left field. I didn't even know. I was like, who the fuck is this? Bro, they sent it to me. I'm just like, my cousin was just like, bro, you better not say nothing to that nigga. I was like, <laughs> I ain't, like, even this is, you feel me? Right. Give him a little motion, but. But to really put somebody's name in a song, like, he put your full name in the, the yeah, hook of the song. That's, like, a lot of promotion was, right there. Yeah, full-heartedly. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is crazy. It shit, shit flopped, too. That shit didn't even do no numbers. I'm like, bro, you did all that shit for no reason. Like, I'm thinking, like, yeah, at least, you feel me, do it business-wise. Like, I seen other people drop, you feel me, this side, this side. Niggas is doing numbers mm. for me from both sides. And I'm like, okay, they, they getting chicken. They collecting royalties. I don't know what he was doing with that. That's not collecting no royalties. That's like more like clout, trying to get clout and shit. But from your perspective, there's like no real tension there. It's just internet shit. I don't even know this nigga. Like, come on. Damn. Be real. That's crazy. <laughs> just be real. Uh, your name was coming up in the conversation with Roddy Rax too about like the potential of competing on a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, but you're not open to that idea. It's a little too nah. controversial. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I ain't got to get all disrespectful about it. Mm. You never heard of a respectful client? Hey, nah, man. If people know what it is, then it shouldn't even be. You know what I'm saying? It's something that a subject that's just been pressed upon. You feel me? Mm. For a minute now. Some people try to get around it or thing. I'm like, nah. You know what I'm saying? I stand on solid principles. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it ain't never like it's okay, it's shade to him. Nigga, he's doing music. He's doing his thing. And if you think about it, you know what I'm saying, from a business perspective, you feel me? He threw me an alley oop without, you feel me, trying. Getting you posted on a bunch of That's mean pages and shit. I mean, I'm his opposition, like, not. Directly, but. Directly, yeah. because, like. Obviously, out here, they got their own opposition that they beef with. Half of them is Southsiders themselves. So mm. it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's, the shit's deep. Everybody knows what's going on. It's like, no no need to even get in depth. But like I said, you know what I'm saying? It, that helped me out. I told you about fucking, or you told me about Rich Rabbit or whatever the fuck. That helping me out. So I'm like, bruh, fuck it. And then, boop, you hit me. We make this happen. I'm like, this is all part of my plan. So I'm like, I'm gonna use it as leverage, not the wrong, not the wrong way though. You feel me? Like I could be crashing out, fighting fire with fire, trying to make diss songs and doing all this extra shit and putting all my titles. You feel me? Hella specific, like. <laughs> yeah, putting putting your op's name in your YouTube title, like blank oh. diss song, is kind of. Hey, but you know what? I give it a little smart because you know I'm yeah, yeah. smart enough to know that you know it catches in a logarithm. Yeah, it's it's good for YouTube. It's good for search engine optimization, exactly. but for sure, but yeah, it's still ah, yeah, 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 it's a little. It's still that's how you that's how you, it goes to show you how bunk it. Like even my people probably seen it. Was like what the fuck, bunk and just swiped it. Yeah, yeah, it's a little weird to me too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where are you at right now in terms of like? partying and shit because i seen some footage of you from interviews back in the day and stuff you got the lean out you know doing all that stuff what, where, what's your thought process on that as you get older and everything uh 
Well, shit, you already know. Like I said, I've been like a year strong, a year and some change, uh, just working out consistently. Oh, okay. So that so keeps you away from that drugs alone and shit too. is like you feel me. Like I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I didn't. I was trying to dibble dabble at first. Mm. So I was partying on weekends and getting back to it on a Monday. You feel me? And starting the week off, going strong. Weekend it comes again. So I was kind of going backwards, you feel me? So as you get older, that is way harder to pull off because exactly. that Friday, Saturday, yeah, Sunday really not. does not make the gym feel good on Monday. Uh, hell no. So just feeling that and uh, seeing how it affected my body and my performance, I, I cut back on a lot of shit. Like I'm not just a sober gopher like type of nigga, you feel me? I still could drink a few, but uh, I limit it and I don't overindulge, you feel me, to where, you know, I'm shit-faced and, Blacking out type shit, you feel me? Mm. 